everyone welcome back to my channel so i thought i would vlog the next week or so but not every day just whenever i'm doing something interesting because it's my birthday on monday next monday the 22nd of april and we're doing a few things that um i don't know thought was worth vlogging today we're going to annick garden and castle not the castle we're just going to annick garden we're just going to annick garden um, because i have a voucher to have afternoon tea there and the um cherry orchard is blooming it only blooms for two weeks i believe of the whole year and it's gorgeous we went last year and i got some really nice pregnancy photos and i thought it'd be nice to get some photos with lydia now who you can see in the back there and eric's here by the way <laughs> um lydia's asleep in the car we've just parked we're just giving her a chance to wake up by herself before we head out and yeah i thought i'd bring you along with me Sorry if you can hear uh, music upstairs. Um, Eric always plays music when he does bath time with Lydia. Obviously we're home now. <laughs> um, and I'm just cleaning up Lydia's toys and I realised I didn't say anything else about the day. We had a lovely time. The afternoon tea was delicious. I do very much recommend having an afternoon tea at Annick Garden. Um, the people were lovely and really friendly and helpful. And yeah, we just had a really lovely time. I think Lydia particularly enjoyed the... Uh, swings because she likes the swings in the park so it was basically just like a giant swing for her um giant children's swing and yeah so i think i'm not gonna vlog for a few days um because i just want to vlog like um anything that's kind of related to my birthday so this was like um a little family day out for my birthday next week um because last year on the last day of my 20s when I was still 29 it was my 30th the next day we went to Annick Garden and I did like a nice little maternity shoot um, which was really nice and uh, we got given a voucher well I got given a voucher sorry for my birthday at the time to do the same thing um, and I just thought it'd be really lovely to do them a year apart um, as like a um, one year on after having a baby and I'm really glad we did actually because I got some really lovely photos in like kind of the same pose slash positioning um to compare and i'm really glad we did that now anyway i'm going to tidy up lydia's toys since she's in the bath and then going to bed and i will see you next time i hop into this vlog good morning it is now almost a week later it's sunday the 21st of april the day before my birthday and today we're going out with friends for a lovely roast dinner and i thought i would continue the vlog today because we're having like i guess a little celebration for my birthday um, I've just put Lydia up in her cot for a nap 
um, and then being able to get myself ready. I got this gorgeous dress, which was from Next, I wanna say. Um, it is new, so it should still be on the website. I'll link it down below, but it's so lovely. I got it in the petite size because I'm sick of um, having all of my clothes taken up at the seamstress. So I thought, oh, I'll have a little look at the petite section and see what's there. Um, and yeah, I love it. It's so cute. Also, it's buttoned down at the front, so it's still breastfeeding friendly, which is one of the main things I was looking for because obviously I'm still breastfeeding Lydia. So I needed something that I could still feed her in while we're out if I need to. I'm going to go to somewhere um, near Newcastle Quayside called Babucho today. I feel like I've been there once with a friend a while ago. I think I had pizza. I can't really remember it. But um, yeah, my friends recommended it and I looked on their TripAdvisor reviews and it looked good. So we're going there for a roast dinner and it should be nice. We were originally going to book another place um, on the quayside that only opened a couple of years ago and I had seen quite a few, re uh, I'd seen quite a few influencers go recently um, and I was like, oh, this looks nice. We'll go there for a roast dinner. It's kind of like, is it Asian inspired? I'm not entirely sure. But it looked like they did nice roast dinners and they had like cute flowers everywhere. So I was like, oh, this looks cute. Let's try there. But then they were kind of like awkward at booking. Granted, they did try to rectify, but by that, by that point, like my friends and stuff had been put off and I was like, mm, it's kind of awkward now, so we'll go somewhere else. Um, but yeah, initially I was like, oh, we need seven adults, um, four kids, two of those kids um, are in high chairs, they don't really eat. And then they were like, oh, it's like, a, um, we need a 10 pound per person deposit, which is fine. But then they also said, we want a 40 pound per person minimum spend. Granted, we're going at like midday on a Sunday. It's not like we're going to be drinking alcohol. We we'll only want like a roast dinner and naturally a roast dinner isn't going to be £40 per person because that's a lot. Um, a roast dinner is what, 15 to £20 if that. Um, and if you have like some pop with it, maybe it's going to be 20 to £25. Um, and then four of them are children. Two of them are toddlers, so they'll have like the kiddie meal, which what I would assume is like a tenner each. And then obviously the babies. Well, Lydia would probably just have stuff off my plate and then maybe the side of mash. What's that? Four pound, five pound? Um, so I questioned it and I was like, surely this uh, minimum spend doesn't count for the four kids that, that I had already made them aware of when I emailed to book. It was like one of the first things I said. Um, and then they like backtracked and said, oh, no, no, the minimum spend is for adults only um, and the deposit is adults only. So I was like, OK. Went back to my friends and I was like, hmm. Again, we didn't think we would spend £40 per person at 12pm on a Sunday. Um, I'd get it if it was like an evening at a popular time um, and if the minimum spend was a little bit lower to account for like the types of meals that they do because none of their meals, even with a dessert, would have been £40 per person. Um, and it was kind of awkward that they said they would um, waive the uh, minimum spend for us to be able to go there but then by that point we'd already picked somewhere else and like booked it so felt kind of awkward so they did try to rectify it and try to make it possible for us to go there which is good but had I not questioned it um they probably would have like expected we to actually agree to 40 pound per person including the kids and everything else but yeah kind of awkward so we're not going to go there maybe at some point me and Eric will go by ourselves there because it does look nice like the food looks really lovely but I guess maybe the person booking just hadn't like considered um, that kids wouldn't eat £40 worth of food. I think they also realised they were losing quite a large booking. There's like 11 of us in total going. Um, so that's why they were trying to like waive the minimum spend. But yeah, never mind. We're going somewhere else now. We're going to Babucho, which looks like it'll be really tasty and I'm excited for it. So I thought I would bring you along with us. <laughs>
bad that I didn't vlog as much while I'm out it's really hard to remember to film when you're with like a, a big group of people and you're trying to like talk to people and have conversations and also uh, be attentive to your child <laughs> but we had a lovely time I really do recommend going to Babucho for um like a birthday dinner or something it was lovely they brought out like a free little cheesecake and a little candle and sang happy birthday it was really cute um they're really great with kids as well I noticed um so the two toddlers are they, still, are they still toddlers? Like the two older kids that were there, they did like make your own pizzas, which they seemed to really enjoy and they got to go and meet the chef. <laughs> it was so adorable. Um, and all the, all of the kids got like a free little mocktail, which was basically like lemonade with some like juice and which Lydia didn't really drink, but she had like a little sip just for fun. Um, and she seemed to like it. Well, she seemed to like the taste, but the fizziness made her pull a funny face. Um, and yeah, I just had a really lovely time. Um, afterwards, we walked along the Quayside Market. Our friend Squares got some like brownies and whatnot. Just had a really lovely day. And I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow as well. I don't know what the exact plan is. We haven't like booked anything in particular. Um, I think we're just gonna see what the weather's like. And I will bring you along with us tomorrow. But for now, we're gonna chill for the rest of the evening. Maybe eat some brownies. I picked up these yesterday um, from Vanilla and Dreams. I mean, we've already ate one. The other one was like a raspberry blondie rocky road and I've got these two left. One of them's like a Milky Way and Maltese and the other one is um, Biscoff, I think. Um, from Vanilla and Dreams, they are based in Great Park area of Newcastle. Very nice. And I know we're also gonna make this tomorrow which is the Percy Pig uh, Blondie making kit. So I'm gonna have like a little sweet treat day tomorrow and bake some stuff. I think um, we're gonna have birthday cake as well, like a rainbow birthday cake that we're gonna have. Definitely not gonna, not gonna eat all these cakes, but you know, we'll share it with some people, <laughs> with friends and family or whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna chill and I'll see you tomorrow. Gonna have to because it's hot. Hello everyone, it's now the next day. We've come to the Metro Centre to relax my birthday. 31 today because it's raining and it's rubbish outside, so get out the lift. So we've come to the little arcade in the Metro Centre. We've just had a ZZ, which was really tasty. Uh, I had the meatballs, Eric had the sticky pig pizza. Uh, so. And Lydia just had some pesto pasta. So I thought I'd vlog the day. Bye. <laughs> Becca, what the hell was that? What 90? It, it went out there. <laughs> Are you watching daddy? How many did you get? More than me. Okay, we're gonna give this a go. And Lydia's just sat here watching, aren't you, baby girl? You're so good. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Mission or story? Story. You ready, Lydia?
controls. Use these guns to hold off the covenant fighting. Sweet, please. Forty-four. Wow, your age today. This is what we got with our winnings. Are you happy with her? As Becca walks Prize. into a chair. Oops, did I? Jesus. Is that some sweeties? Which one does Daddy want? Yellow. Yellow? Cool. Say hi to you. It's not your birthday, you know. Hey, baby. What are you saying there? Hiya. Look, I do it now. Hiya. Get <laughs> 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 
chicken, 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 chicken
I don't know how I fit into this while I was pregnant and now I've like actually lost loads of weight but it's like a midi size star dress I'm gonna wear my docks because they're comfortable um the other dress that I wanted to wear was the one that I got off vintage it's like a top shop red plaid kind of style and it's a maxi dress it's really pretty but i've just tried it on and it's way too big which is annoying because when i bought that the other week it was like a month ago do you remember and i tried it on down here and it fit nicely With, uh, yes well it fit me it fit me back then and i've just tried it on now and it's far too big now All right, okay. so that's a waste of money i'll have to stick that back on vintage um but never mind <laughs> and then mainly just just have fun with it um if anyone does drop a pane of glass <laughs> I hope I got enough footage, Eric's here by the way. Um, I hope I got enough footage, but it didn't last very long to be fair, we were done quite early. So I thought I would show you things I did. I'm not going to get the card out because I've protected it with paper now and I want to wait for it to fully dry. But I made a card, made my um, thing, I want to get your impressions Eric. I can get it out now. Yes, yeah, it's a good box, yeah. I would actually love to collect flowers and dry them and make a little artwork. It's cute. I think it would look nice in here. Look at it! Well, it won't degrade whatsoever like that. Um, she said over time, over many years, it might lose colour. She said that she still got one from five years ago that's still really bright. Mm -hmm. So, and it also depends if it's in the sun or not. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really pretty. I love it. Mm -hmm. Do you Very like nice. it? Yeah, what is it? Other plants. I have no idea. That's clearly a daily. I don't know what the rest are. That looks like lavender, maybe. And then I got with some treats, Eric. From the place. I've got two brownies. One's just a normal chocolate brownie. Muffle. And one is a mini egg brownie. It's not good. Then I also got with... Can you save this stuff? Yes. Oh, good. Cookies. That's a savory. Oh, one no. of them's a caramel cookie. That's <laughs> yours. Yes, I got it. And one of them's a party ring cookie. Oh. <laughs> and then they did do savory stuff because obviously, like, I didn't really eat and I didn't. There was no space on the table. We were all crowded around the table, so I didn't get any food while I was there. And then that were these giant, <laughs> giant as fuck sausage rolls. Oh, There's two of them, one each. So I thought we could have them. <laughs> we'll stick them in the air fryer for tea. Oh, glad that I cleaned the air fryer. Oh, good. So, yeah. We're going to eat first after the air. It's up to you, you can have what you want. Half well, half the brown. brownies, obviously. Take my hair. Oh, I'll have to show you my other presents I got. I, got some I haven't opened Alice's yet, but I've opened the ones from Ellie and... Um, Beth. Any good? Nice. Or does it just not know you? Uh, no, they're all good. Beth got stuff off my wish list, which is always good. Um, yeah. And Ellie got me some really cute things actually. One of them is like a crystal, um, like a crystal Course tower. it is, Ellie. Course it is. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really good. And then it has like, she basically told the person that she was buying it from, like, about me as a person. And like on the little card it I mean, says. she gossips about you. <laughs> no, she said she said nice Honestly. things. But on the card it like says what it helps and like this person helped her pick it and it helps mm. with like anxiety, ADHD and mm. that sort of stuff. Um, you're gonna do, you're gonna wear it. Just have I'll it. show you it actually. 
No, it's, it's, no, it's like a um, decoration, form decor. Oh. And she also got me these for the bath ones. Practically when magic. When do you ever get to go in the bath? Um, in the bath? Well, I can have more baths now that Lydia sleeps. What are you doing? Now that Lydia sleeps on her own. But yeah, so. So it is. So yeah, this is it. It's like a... Just a home decor thing. You can put it wherever Ooh. you think it will like work best. Obelisk of, what is it? Amethyst. Um, it is... Lepidolite. Lepidolite? Lepidolite, I don't know. From serenitycellshields.com. Yeah, an excellent stone for stabilizing emotions as it contains a high amount of natural lithium, which is used in many anxiety medications, aids in overcoming emotional dependency, and helps treat bipolar disorder, social anxiety, and ADHD. Affirmations. Vibrations 8. I don't know what that means. I don't know an awful lot about crystals. Mm -hmm. I'll have to find out. The chakras are heart, third eye, and crown. The element is water. Living cold. Vibrations eight, zodiacs, Libra, Pisces, and affirmation is I am strong, capable, and independent. I love it. Affirmations, all good for me. So Mind health, mental health. I'm going to leave it in the bag for now until I decide where I want to put it, because otherwise I'll end up somewhere random. And you don't want that. Um, and oh, Beth got me the uh, egg separator. Ugh. The duck thing or the chicken no, thing. It's a chicken. I'm chicken for an egg. Ducks have eggs. Um, I haven't opened else's yet. I'll do that in a minute. Anyway, I'm gonna end this. I keep doing this. I'm gonna <laughs> end this vlog here. That has been my birthday activities. Now that I'm 31, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. Subscribe to see. Sub -dub 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 subscribe to see more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one bye bye daisy's chasing the cat he's gonna hit me off <laughs>